Hi, Mr. Osborne, back again with session nine of our 10 science sessions. Um, we've, what have we been doing? We've been looking at classification. We looked at animals first. Today, we're gonna to be looking at these, okay? Now, look at this, I'm not talking about the Death Star here. Um, I'm talking about these actually plants. Let's check this out. This is a strange type of plant, actually. It's called an air plant, where it doesn't sit in soil. You just gotta make sure uh, you give it some water every now and then, okay, which Mr. Osborne's not that good at doing. And then that is obviously, you know, Mr. Osborne's love of uh, Star Wars. That is a Death Star pot where it sits in. So enough about that, but will we look at those in more detail? Okay, so let's get this um, session underway. And it is session nine, like I said. Here we go. Get into full screen mode. Let's move me. Okay, so hope you are well thanks for joining me okay what you're going to need today nice and simple just your brain pencil piece of paper and get ready to be engaged okay maybe making some notes on as we go through and then at the end of this session as ever we'll have a little pop quiz to see and make sure that knowledge has sunk in <clears throat> okay but before we do that okay got quite a test today can you work out the jumbled up words okay i've not been too nice to you, but I have given you some picture clues down uh, at the bottom there. Uh, maybe pause the video for a few minutes, come back and then uh, have a check that you've got these uh, right. Off you go then. Okay, so you're back already. So I asked you to work out the jumbled up uh, words there and I can give you a little picture clue down the bottom. So number one, Number one is clearly mammal. Well done. Uh, number two is bird. Well done. Number three, I haven't given you a picture of that one. Did you work it out? I'm sure you did. You're telling me it's fish. Wonderful. Number four, you see, sat there underneath all the birds is a reptile. And then on the last one, what do we have? We have slightly more difficult. Could you work it out? Amphibian. So there you go. And they're from the um species groups that we were learning about a couple of sessions um ago uh let's move on to see what today's learn is hopefully your brain's nice and warmed up now and you're ready for some learning <clears throat> so today's learning um we're continuing on our quest to describe how living things are classified into groups okay by common ca characteristics and as i said earlier we are having a look how these are these are all around Mr. Osborne's house because Mrs. Osborne seems to have a pot plant obsession going on. OK, so we're going to be looking at how we can categorize um, and classify plants into groups. OK, animation, I always forget I do. It's just not needed, Mr. Osborne. OK, so let's have a look. So classification. Just to have a quick recap, well, classification means to group similar species together, okay? And we're talking about organisms here, okay? Um, different types of plants, animals, fungi, and bacteria, okay? And we do that, why do we do that? Well, we do that because it makes it easier for them to be studied and understood, okay? Biologists classify by looking for similar characteristics in organisms and then grouping them together. Okay, here's my favorite animation of all spinning earth there okay and as we discussed before the earth is full of life okay when we talk about life we're not just talking about humans and and animals but we're also talking about microorganisms and we're talking about plant life as well okay so let's move on to see um first of all what is a plant so take 30 seconds jot down everything you know about plants okay and then we'll have a look together um the illustration there is very helpful as well so uh do that come back in 30 seconds and then we'll have a look together about what you think your definition is um uh, compared to my definition okay you're back so soon I've done about 20 of the about well, 19 of these videos now and that whole pause thing is still rather strange okay so what is a plant well a plant is a living thing that can use sunlight to make its own food okay and that's for a process called pho photosynthesis okay and there we go there's uh leaves stems roots flowers cones okay and, and seeds okay so plants need light air and water to grow they usually grow better in warm conditions okay so we know what a plant is okay a plant is a living organism uh, that uses sunlight to make its own 
food, okay? <clears throat> and it requires light, air, and water to grow. Okay, let's move on. So how can we classify plants? Well, take a pause for thought. Um, how might we go about classifying plants, okay? Now, <clears throat> don't forget with animals, we looked at similar characteristics, okay? And, and we looked, did they have four legs? Did they have wings? Okay, well, plants is not too dissimilar to that. And we've got two pictures of plants here, okay? We can see one very flowering plant there, which is a, a daffodil, or we've got a fern there. Well, with plants, okay, we have um, flowering plants and non-flowering plants, okay? So it's two groups, two ways of grouping the plants, okay? Flowering plant, daffodil is an example, okay? Um, with flowers, obviously, and non-flowering plants, um, as you can see there, a fern which does not have um, a flower. Now, let's move on. So, flowering plants, they reproduce by attracting pollinators, okay, usually insects. Now, um, <clears throat> we've all seen bees busily um, uh, working around flowers, especially in the summertime, using coloured or scented flowers, okay, the pollinators distribute pollen to allow fertilization and the production of a seed which can grow to become a new plant. So think that is what a flowering plant requires to then reproduce. Okay, so that, that's our first kind of category there. So flowering plants, let's look at uh, the opposite to that, a non-flowering plant. Okay, these do not produce pollen to uh, reproduce. Some directly produce seeds such, such as conifers. Others produce spores that are carried by the wind to new locations where they can grow, okay, mosses and ferns as such. So if you've ever been down, uh, usually in the woods, okay, and mosses are definitely sort of in a damper area, you might see these ferns. So let's have a look. So, so far we were able to categorize them by flowering plants and non-flowering plants. Okay, so let's have a look at this simple plant classification key here. So here we go, up at the top, plants okay then we break it down into two groups okay so plants with seeds and then plants without seeds okay so we have our plants with seeds that flower and then our plants with seeds that don't necessarily flower okay uh looking across over on the right hand side here we have our plants without seeds okay they have root stems and leaves okay and some have no true roots stems and leaves and we'll look at those um in a bit more detail in a minute but we can therefore simply break down um, our grouping of plants into four major groups. Flowering plants, conifers, ferns, and then mosses. Okay, so let's have a look at flowering plants in more detail, okay? Now, most of the flowers uh, you see in the shop are flowering plants. So generally, if you've gone to buy your mum some flowers for uh, Mother's Day or something, um, then they are flowering plants, okay? They use the flowers to reproduce and make baby versions of themselves. So we've already discussed that. Uh, and trees are also flowering plants. So that's quite important to remember because I don't think you always think of um, trees being flowering plants. Uh, they make fruits in the same way that smaller flowers do. Okay, and the oak tree produces acorns. You see a couple of images there. So uh, that looks like a uh, orange tree being grown there and an, an acorn. Okay, so don't forget these are flowering plants that produce seeds okay now the other plants that produce seeds but with no flowers are conifers okay now conifers they don't flower they're normally trees too but instead of leaves they have needles and they keep them um safe inside of hard cones okay now you can see uh, a pine cone there and, and the, the needle and that looks like a christmas tree then without decoration okay so they are plants with seeds. So, so far we've got our kind of, just recap on that. We've got our, our flowering plants. Okay, we've got our fruit trees. We've got our tr acorn tree there. And then we've got our conifers um, and those prickly needle pine cones there. Okay, now let's have a look. So they're plants with seeds. So these are non-flowering plants. <clears throat> let's have a look at the second part of our classification key at the non-flowering plants, okay, and moss and ferns. Now, there are some plants that don't produce seeds, um, and here's two examples of them. They both produce spores instead of flowers and cones, okay. Now, mosses here, 
they don't look like flowering plants. They don't have a stem or roots or leaves, okay? And they need to live in damp places, okay? So like I said before, if you've ever gone down to the woods, you might see <coughs> on tree roots or in damp places, uh, mosses or, <clears throat> uh, and, and especially ferns you see down in the woods, okay? Well, ferns have stems and leaves and roots, but no flower or seeds, okay? And the spores are released from their leaves. <clears throat> let's take it just a quick jump back and so look at before we go on to our quiz. Let's just take a quick look back. So when we look at our classification of plants, okay, we knew well. We now know that we can um, categorize the plants into four different groups: flowering plants, okay, and they can be anything from the sh um, plants that you see in the shop to sort of the acorn tree or or a fruit tree. We have conifers that they uh, produce seeds but they don't have flowers, okay, but they have those prickly uh, pine cones, okay, and there's the seeds are protected within them. Then on the other side where we have without seeds, okay, and we have our ferns and mosses, and remember our, our mosses don't look like every other plant where they, they have stems and, and leaves, okay, they, they, they have to live in sort of damp conditions, and we have our ferns, which do have roots, stems and leaves, okay, but they do not produce seeds, they produce spores. So here we have flowering plants and conifers which produce seeds. On the right hand side we have ferns and mosses that produce spores. But that is how um, the plants are categorized into four different uh, categories there, four different groups. Flowering plants, conifers, ferns and mosses. Right now hopefully, there's a bit of Mr. Osborne waffling on there, but hopefully you've got the general idea because it is now time to go through to... So, here we go. Um, number one, what is the main reason to classify organisms? Now, remember, I was saying earlier at the beginning of this session, um, you know, we looked at humans, uh, animals, uh, plants, uh, we'll be looking at microorganisms soon. So when it talks about that, you're talking about animals, plants, and so on. Name five parts of a plant, which would be nice and easy. How can plants be simply classified? Okay, so three questions there, have a go, come back in a couple of minutes and we will go through the answers together. Okay, so you're back already. Uh, what is the main reason to classify organisms? Well, the main reason to classify organisms, it makes it easier to study them. Okay, so it's easier for scientists, uh, biologists to study organisms when they're broken down into groups, okay? And remember, we're classifying on characteristics, okay? So name five parts of a plant, okay? Hopefully, this is just year four stuff, so you should be able to do this quite easy. Leaves, stems, roots, flowers, and, and seeds, okay? Um, how many is that? Two, four, five, yeah, definitely five. Uh, how can plants be simply classified well they can be simply classified by say they're flowering plants with flowers or non-flowering plants without flowers okay and remember we had our four groups there okay now there is more some more questions here uh, name the type of plant that needs to live in damp conditions name the four categories of plants and what does a conifer have instead of leaves okay pause the video there come back in in a jiffy and then we will look through those together okay so you're back already so number four name the type of plant that needs to live in damp conditions well that is moss okay moss needs to live in damp conditions remember moss doesn't produce seeds it produces spores okay number five name the four categories of plants that should be nice and easy we discussed that long enough we have flowering plants, we have conifers, we have ferns, and we have mosses. Okay, and then finally, what does a conifer have instead of leaves? Okay, well, they have needles and they keep their seeds safe inside a hard cone. Okay, hopefully that's all sunk in today. Okay, just a quick burst on how we might um, classify plants. Let's have a look at a quick recap then. Well, we continued our quest on to describe how living things are classified into groups according to cam common characteristics, but yeah, Mr. Osborne, uh, with the main focus of plants. Okay, remember that we were able to categorize our plants into four different groups, which were flowering, uh, well, two different groups, flowering plants, non-flowering plants. So then plants that produce seeds, okay, such as flowering plants and conifers, and then uh, plants that did not produce seeds, 
such as mosses and ferns. OK, now, as we move on to our next session, uh, we will be looking at how to describe um, how living things are classified into groups with a main focus of microorganisms. OK, and that's going to be our final video on um, how we classify things. So microorganisms will be our next session. Thank you ever so much for joining me. OK, hopefully I'll get to see you next time. Take care. Bye bye.